So we're going to take a few minutes and talk about this little guy right here. So uh, Pinty, the company named Pinty, they do Amazon, a lot of Amazon type uh, budget accessories for like airsoft and firearms and stuff like that. And you see it a lot on Amazon. They contacted me and said, hey, you want to review this stuff? And they sent me this and they sent me a red dot as well. Um, because I said, sure, why not? This is the first time I've done these real budget entry level items. And again, like I said before, the reason I even review these is because people are buying them. So I figure in my head, you know what, I might as well talk about them, share my experiences. And then that way I can at least give you guys an informed opinion before you decide to go spend your money on whether it's worth it or not. I'm not the only one out here that does it. There's a lot of, some other YouTubers that do it and do a really good job at it. So um, along with looking at me, you can look at some of the other guys. Like, was it 704 Tactical, I believe his name? He does a lot of these types of reviews, and he does a really good job at it. He's really good at it. So that's a good resource to use as well, uh, just off the top of my head, but there's many others. But I just want to talk about this little guy right here. So this is a light laser combo that was sent from Pinty, and it's about $39, $40 on their website. So really inexpensive. It's one of those really entry-level type stuff. So here it is right here. It's kind of funny looking, but I had it on my kel P17. It's a 22 caliber firearm. And I thought, you know what? It, it might fit perfectly on that. It looked kind of cool. And I thought, you know what? It's a budget light laser combo. It might work perfect for rimfire. Uh... Yeah, I was wrong. First off, uh, if you're those types that don't like to waste time and listen to details, this is a non-recommend. Do not get this for a firearm. If you have airsoft, it's cool for air shot, uh, the airsoft type applications. That's totally cool for that. But not for firearms, not for self-defense, none of that. Totally non-recommend. So there's that. Now let's explain why. So overall, the design is, you know, there's your light, there's your laser. You can flip in between the two and you can see here see so there's light and laser laser only or light and then you could turn it on or off on these side switches that they have on each side kind of cool when i first saw it i was like well the light isn't super bright uh but the laser seems to work pretty good uh the laser does hold zero at least on the 22 it did hold at zero so that's cool and i thought you know what if anything for like a training gun or a rim fire or something like that uh, this would totally totally work and maybe if it was stout enough, you could use it in a self-defense type role. Uh, I'm talking basic self-defense, like budget level, uh, defending a house, you know, getting up in the middle of the night. Not something where you're going to be bumping around a lot. But um, unfortunately, the reliability of this just killed it. So I had this on my P, my Taurus, or not, excuse me, my kel P17, and took it out to the range today and put a few magazines through it, and it started off working pretty good. Uh, actually, hold on, let me back up a little bit. There's one little quirk that I totally forgot. So the mounting system here, you turn this right here to um, loosen it right here, and then you can loosen this piece up, mount it, and then tighten it back up. That's fine. There was a little spring in here, so that way it gives a little bit of a spring action, but when I tightened it, the spring would actually come out and would be sticking out a little bit it was kind of weird so i got rid of the spring uh it didn't mess with the mounting at all it's still mounted nice and secure but that spring just was a poor design so that's kind of a little mini strike in my opinion it's still mounted good but that little spring just it was kind of a wonky setup uh so anyway took it to the range and started shooting and i was like you know this Kind of cool. I was using the laser light function, just shooting off the laser, not really aiming down the sights. And it was maintaining its accuracy. And I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I'm digging it uh, for a cheap, you know, $40 light. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. So as I continued to shoot it, though, uh, after I believe about the third magazine going into magazine number four on uh, my kel -Tec. I was shooting, and then a few rounds in, I was like, wait a minute, I, I can't see the laser anymore. I thought maybe I hit something or did something during shooting. Uh, then it turned back on. I said, okay, cool. Started shooting again. And then it started flickering on and off. It started turning off again, and then it wouldn't turn back on. Until I messed with it, then it would turn on, and then it started turning off more and more at a more rapid rate. Um, what I think it is, is right here on the bottom, there's a little push button. 
So I'm gonna push it here and now it's out. I don't know if you can see it, it's protruding out. With it out, I can't, see nothing turns on. When I push it back in and it clicks in, now, see the light, now everything works. Kinda neat, I think it's unnecessary and I think that's what's killing this design because it's causing the recoil, even the recoil of the Rimfire 22, I think was knocking the wires or something in here enough that yeah. it was shutting it off. Because of that, uh, the fact that the laser stayed accurate and all the other stuff and that it looked cool, because of that, it negated everything else. It's a total fail in my book. Uh, if I can't have any type of device that would stay on during recoil, especially with a rimfire, a rimfire 22 long rifle with no recoil or very minimal recoil, even out of a pistol, there's very minimal muzzle blast. If it doesn't stay on, I'm not interested in it, not in that application. Now for airsoft, this might be useful. I could dig this being for airsoft uh, because it's not a life or death situation. You're not using it for defense or anything like that or, or, or hunting or survival or whatnot. You're just using it for recreation. So if it did flub on you, no big. Yeah, I mean, you miss your target in airsoft, maybe you lose a match or something. I mean, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, 40 bucks for airsoft. Sure, sure, why not? Uh, but for a real pistol, no, because this was on a rimfire. I would imagine if I threw this on a 40 caliber, nine millimeters, a center fire gun that actually has muzzle blast and recoil, um, I bet this thing would have failed a lot sooner. So I have to say, non-recommend, do not buy this, this particular model if you are looking for a cheap self-defense light. There are other lights out there. Um, I highly suggest that if you're looking for a self-defense light, uh, just try to save a little bit of money. Uh, maybe get like a TLR3 from Streamlight. Uh, it's about 79 bucks, 80 bucks. Uh, sometimes you can see them for a little bit cheaper. That's a good light. It's a very solid light. I have that actually on my Taurus TX22 at the moment, but I've swapped that between uh, center fire guns and it works great. It's a good budget light. I would recommend something like that definitely over this. So with that said, I'll stop the video. Feel free to put your comments down. Um, I don't know if Pinty's going to like this review, probably not, but I got to keep it real. I mean, if you send me a product and it totally, absolutely fails, uh, that's the thing. I'm going to tell the truth, you know. Um, I think if maybe they, if they got rid of this piece right here, this button, maybe that would work. If they got rid of that, because uh, I don't even think it's really needed. I don't know why they have that there. It seems unnecessary. If they got that, maybe strengthen up the internals a little bit, the circuitry or the wires, you might have something here. It's kind of, a, it, it looked interesting on the P, on the kel -Tec. It looked kind of cool. So you might have something. But uh, until then, yeah, no go. All right, thanks a lot, a lot for watching. Um, feel free to keep watching my videos. I really enjoy your support. Support other YouTubers out there as well. And I hope everybody's staying safe out there.